okay. So if your goal is to keep somebody healthy, and the first thing that you say is, um, I'm going to charge you to use the service. Think of how fucked up that is. Sorry, I, I don't know how, how G-rated your podcast is, but clearly I cursed too much. So I apologize. But, um, but think of how fucked up that is, right? Like, hi, I want to keep you healthy. Step one, charge you every time you want to engage your doctor. It's like, come on. Like, there's not even like, there's not even like, like, they're not even subtle about it, right? Between copays and high deductibles. It's like, come on, guys. Like, can you at least pretend? Can you, like, at least, like, lie to me about it? So we just started really basic. We was just like, no, we actually want you to use the service, right? But then there's another element that's really important to understand, which is, like, think about why they're in that business, why they're in the business of charging. It's because, again, they can't afford it. They can't afford to keep you healthy. And it's because they're a service. And so it only makes sense to live in a world where you're pushing utilization of a of, of your product if it's a pro, if it's a technology product right it's not like like think about it this way you have health insurance why do you have health insurance well i don't know i might get hit by a bus i might get you know i might have to use it a lot do you have gmail insurance no but i might send you a thousand emails today you don't know yeah, but you don't care, right? Because the, the incremental cost of a thousand emails is like 0.0001 penny. Like who cares, right? Google's not like, we're going to charge you more. And so the, the, fundamental, the fundamental insight is like, it only works if the cost of, of the providing that product or that service is truly, truly roughly zero, right? And so the whole trick of forward is we have to figure out how to keep you healthy for roughly zero cost. If it is expensive for us to keep you healthy, none of this works. So we wanted from day one, our incentives to be both to keep you healthy and to make it cheap. In fact, what's really awesome is the cheaper we can make it, the healthier you get, the more your retention goes up, the more money we make. Think of how awesome this is, right? So what you have, yeah, so, so great. So, so what you have is here's our competition, okay? You've got a healthcare system today where every year the price is going up, right? The price is going up and literally they're giving you less and less value, right? Between high deductibles and copays. Okay. Now forward, think of us. Every year we're giving you more value and literally we want to lower our price. Like any tech company, we're just like, we'll just keep driving the cost down. We're 149 a month. We're going to 99, 79, 59. And we're just... Okay, so at some point, you're like, it's not a question of when, it's a question of, uh, sorry, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. It's inevitable that, that at some point, the entire world will be on Ford. Unless Ford dies, like at some point, like you will all move to this model, whether it's Ford or some other company that does it, of course, you're going to move to healthcare as a product. It's inevitable. And that's what we wanted. We wanted to have the right incentives because, look, you know, One Medical's got, I don't know, 100 engineers. You, you know, uh, United Healthcare has 1,000 engineers, I don't know, 2,000, 5,000 engineers. But all these people are working on billing codes, right? Bill, ways to bill you. All my engineers, they're working on ways to keep you alive. Literally, I have engineers working on cancer prevention programs. I have engineers working on blood pressure programs, engineers working on uh, skin cancer programs, working on diabetes programs, working on mental health programs. That's what my engineers work on. They literally work on ways to keep you alive. Do you know how many engineers I have working on billing software? Like, I don't know, one, maybe half of one, quarter of one. I mean, our building's really easy. It's like we bill you once a month. That's it. I don't know. We haven't touched it in a while. It's not that interesting. 